CEO Ronald Hicklin from Creating a Difference. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about differential and kind of a way to explain what it really is to a bowling ball. I've got two different core shapes here and we're gonna use these along uh, with this half ball to kind of illustrate the difference with this device. So basically differential is a measurement and it's a measurement of along two different axes in a bowling ball, just like I've got two different axes here. I've got an axis going this way and an axis going this way. So let me explain to you kind of what differential is. This, if this was to represent the core shape, what you would see is this. This core shape has low differential. And what that means is the difference in the mass between the two axes is not very much. And you could tell that simply because the shape is round. So if I was to measure the difference between going through the core this way and going through the core this way, there wouldn't be very much because it's a round shape. Conversely, if I did that same thing with a shape like this, obviously going through it this way and going through it this way is different. That's gonna create more differential and that means more flare potential. Now what manufacturers do to increase that even more is they'll actually put another type of material, another puck above that. So that makes this even longer this way compared to this way to raise that differential. And I can tell you this shape with this particular piece added uh, is about a, almost a 59 differential, 58, 59 differential. When this piece is gone, it's about a 40. Now you say, well, what does that look like visually? Well, let me show you. So this would represent this core shape right here where the mass is kind of all evenly spaced out and kind of toward the center. Because of that, there's no differential. When a manufacturer makes a core shape like this, what they're doing is they're basically making one axis much taller than the other. So when you measure the difference between what this number is compared to this number, it's gonna be larger. The larger the number, the more differential, the more differential, the more flare potential. Now you say, well, how does that help you as a bowler? Well, typically, if you're somebody who needs the bowling ball to start up a little bit earlier, a higher differential ball is beneficial. If you, want, if you need the bowling ball to go a little longer, a lower differential ball um, is more preferential. And that really kind of depends on the situation that you're bowling on. Obviously, the cover stock, the surface, those things matter as well. But from a core standpoint, differential creates more flare potential. More flare potential creates typically more earlier hook. So if you're a person that throws the ball really hard, higher differential could be good. If you're a high rev type of player, high differential tends to be bad because it makes the ball hook earlier, which will then make your ball hook less down lane, which is not good if you're a high rev rate player. So that's kind of some information to kind of give you uh, some insight on the when to use high differential balls versus low differential balls. Well, now you got some more information. If you like this video, man, join our staff. Just go to ctdbowling.com, click the three little lines. You'll see regional staff as an option. Click that. It's completely free to join, and you'll be able to get more insight information like I'm sharing here with you right now on YouTube. On behalf of Creating the Difference, I am CEO Ronald Hicklin. Talk to you soon.